Yoshi Plays here, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time, we went through the ruins of Alf, and we, well, saw every, pretty much everything that we could at the moment. Uh, as there are two hidden rooms that I am unable to, uh, unlock at this moment because I don't have Ho-Oh for one, and two, I don't have a Water Stone. Um... This time, uh, before we head on into uh, Kanto, there are two legendary Pokemon that I would like to go and catch before we uh, before we head on further. So before we did that, started this, um, I did do a little few preparations. I did give Ace Mean Look, and I got some more. Ultra Balls and a couple of Dusk Balls, since it is night in the game, so I figured that would make things a little bit easier. So, I may just skip ahead a little bit to when I find one of the two, because it's gonna take me a little bit since, uh, uh, Raikou is over there. I have no idea where Entei is. I think that just means that it left the region, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, though. But I would like to catch them uh, before I go into Kanto. So, I will meet you back in a minute. That didn't take very long at all. <laughs> Alright, it is Entei. It is a level 40, pure fire type. Weak to water, ground, and rock types only. Uh, has the moves, roar, fire spin, stomp, and flamethrower. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, prevent it from running away. Please do not use Roar. I will cry. <laughs> We're gonna start lowering your HP a little bit. Alrighty. Gonna go for an Air Slash one more time. Hopefully that doesn't do... Uh, okay, that's good. That's good. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I just gotta keep Ace alive, because if the uh, Ace fails, I, uh, well, Entei is able to run away again. So, I'm gonna attempt some Pokeballs now. <laughs> nope. If only I could swap, uh, shoot. Alright, I'll attempt a Dusk Ball, see if that does any better. Ay, ay, ay. No. <laughs> that did nothing at all. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No. Um. So as we're just kinda... Actually, we'll... That take away the fire spin? No, I don't think so, but I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. <gasps> no, I for no. Welp. Well, at least uh, Entei is down to low health. Huh. Okay, I will meet you back in a minute. Not the one I was looking for, but I did find Raikou! Raikou is level 40, pure electric type. Uh, weak to ground types only. Knows the moves, roar, quick attack, spark, and reflect. Alright, so we're gonna go with mean look again. And try lowering your HP. Good. Uh, I'm gonna go with Poison Fang, since, uh, Air Slash isn't gonna do much. I really hope this does not poison Raikou. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with an Air Slash now, so I don't poison, uh, Raikou accidentally. And I'm afraid of doing that with, uh... <laughs> um... Uh... Goodness, I couldn't think of the word there. Uh, Poison Fang. Uh, funny enough, if you all remember correctly, I actually found Raikou while I was, uh, in the middle 
of heading to Olivine City. I didn't catch it, but I got close. Well, actually, no, I didn't even get close. Oh, gosh darn it! Alright, I will be back again. <laughs> Alright, attempt number two for Raiko. <laughs> Starting things off with a mean look. I wonder... Is it ever, like... I do wonder, like, how mean look actually, you know, looks. I'm trying to remember what it looked like in the, uh, the anime. I don't remember for sure. Um. Um. Yeah, I think we're just gonna keep chucking Ultra Balls. Hello? Two? Three? <laughs> no, Raiko! Dang it, I was gonna say, attempt number two, uh, success? No. <laughs> Raiko just doesn't like me. No, not even a wiggle that time. What the heck, Raiko? I'm telling you, Raiko just doesn't like me. Alright, we're gonna attempt a Dusk Ball this time. No. It should do more da- uh, damage. <laughs> no, we are not doing any more damage. We got you right where we want you. Oh, come on. You, it looked like you wanted to- uh, go in a great Ultra Ball. Alright, attempt number two for uh, Entei. This took me a little bit too long to find. <laughs> All right. Oop. Uh, I gotta use mean look first, so you don't run away. Cause uh, if you run away, I'll be very sad. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start off with an ultra ball this time. No. Come on, Entei. I was gonna. Be like, if you use Roar first thing, I was not going to be very happy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if a Dusk Ball does any good. I don't know why I'm not having any good luck with the Dusk Balls. Nope, I had to say something and then you didn't do anything. Okay, fine. <laughs> of course, it's always if you complain about something saying, hey, this does not work, then it works. That is like reverse, not really like reverse psychology, but it's like, dang it. I literally found Raiko as almost as soon as I uh, got out of that encounter with uh, Entei. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I usually have terrible luck finding them. Okay, so we're gonna... Let's try a Dusk Ball this time, as a first, uh, Pokeball to use. Okay, it, it at least shook once. Um, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the roaming legendary Pokemon, I will, uh, admit that much. <laughs> as much as I love Raikou and Entei's designs, they're just, uh, oh, well, there's one caught. Of course, I had to... I had to talk over it. <laughs> There's one got. Raikou, the Thunder Pokemon. A Pokemon that races across the land while barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder. Ooh. That's kind of like, not ominous, but it's like... Interesting, to say the least. Well, that's one down. Alright, one down, one to go. I'll meet you back when I find the other one. Alright, let's try this again, Entei. Oh, I almost did it again. Mean look to start things off. Because we can't have you running away a third time. Fourth time? I actually found Entei first in my uh, test playthrough. Um, I had a similar situation with Entei, or sorry, Raikou, where I found, uh, Entei instead of Raikou, though. 
Also, we came uh, pretty close to catching Entei. Why is it always when I'm talking that it's like, hey, we're gonna do something now? Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, this is fine. I mean, I'm not complaining too much. You know, I thought they were gonna be... You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say it until I actually catch this thing. No. I know some of you are probably thinking, well, you've got a Master Ball, why are you not using it? I'm actually gonna be saving my Master Ball for something else. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna save it for yet, but I do want to save it for another Legendary Pokémon. I have been debating on saving it for the final Roaming Legendary, and- Oh! There we go! We've caught Entei! Heck yeah! Yay! A Pokemon that races across the land. It is said that one is born every time a new volcano appears. So then why is there only one in the game? Can someone explain to me that? Well, we've uh, caught Le Entei and Raikou pretty quickly. Um, that only took me about, what, uh, 20, 30 minutes, maybe, at the most? So now that we've caught the legendary uh, Pokemon that I wanted to catch, I think it's time we finally make our way to Kanto, because I don't think there's anything else that I want to do here in Johto at the moment that I can think of off the top of my head. So, we're going to take that uh, pass that um, Professor Elm gave us, and we're going to go to Olivine City. Alright, here we are. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Head on into the building. And we see a familiar face! Hi! Hello, you're starting to have the attitude of a champion, Gold. It's time for your Pokedex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. Okay. I'll upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode! Heck yeah, we got National Mode. It won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. However, I'm sure you'll make an honest attempt on our behalf. No, I probably won't. Well, but we'll see. Oh, time flies. I have a radio show to record at Goldenrod Radio Tower. You must be he heading for Kanto. If you come near Pallet Town, do drop by my Pokemon Research Lab. Well, I will be sure to do that. But first, welcome to Fast Ship SS Aqua. May I see your ticket? Here you go. Okay, you have a ticket. We're departing soon. Get on board quick. Oh, th that was a uh, weird timing. Hi. Sorry I've kept you waiting. I thought of a new way to play. It's called Object Arrangement. I'll give you more details at the Safari Zone. Uh, is that scripted or is that... Uh, completely random, because I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> um, I'll have to look into that. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get on the ship for now. Okay, you must be the last passenger. The last passenger? How many people got on here before me? Hello? Also, just listen to how cool this music is first. Oh, never mind. Whoa, excuse me. I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Okay. Uh, now listen to the cool music. should be enough. <laughs> Let's go ahead and explore the rooms a little bit. I know there's a couple of trainers uh, somewhere around here. 
Uh, I don't know if there's any hidden items, though, but we'll at least take a look for round. And I think we do get our own room here. Yeah. We do. And there's even a, uh, a box here. Fortunately, I already picked up Delta from the box before I uh, got on the ship. Or rather, started this part, so... Not too... Important for me. Hello, are you a trainer? Oh, you are a trainer. Okay. Oops. Um, I'm just gonna fight him off screen. I'll be back. All he had were two coughings and a Flareon. I mean, I'm loving the the uh, the love for Flareon here. Like, I think that's three trainers now that I've fought that have a Flareon on their team. You know what? No, let's put Delta up in the front. He has not got to do much, uh, battling, let alone being up in the front. Hi. Hello, my lucky dragon boy. Delta's dancing along with the rolling of the ship. How cute. Aw, oh, Delta. You're so cute. And I love, uh, Dragonite's sprite, too. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize you were trainers. <laughs> Wait, are all of them trainers? I guess we're about to find out. Uh, Delibird, not... Uh, that was a cute little animation, though. Um, not exactly a favorite Pokemon of mine, but I think it's a pretty cute ice type. And yes, Delta is a strong dragon now. Ha, <laughs> you're a... Uh... You also acknowledge Delta's strength. You're a good person. No hidden items. Are you trainers? Oh, you are also trainers. Oops. <laughs> I don't realize... I'm not a baby. <laughs> I didn't call you a baby, but okay. Ah, baby Pokemon. Aw. Unfortunately, I have to, uh... I have to, uh, kind of go all out here, because, you know, I am the champion. I gotta do that. <laughs> no mercy. Not even for a cute baby Pokemon. Yeah! There we go. Oh, we lost. Yes, you guys did. I forgot that this uh, whole boat has uh, many trainers here. I think I think there's a trainer in each cabin. Oh, oh, except for this one. Oh, hello. My granddaughter's still missing. If she's on the ship, that's okay. She's an energetic child, so she may be bothering someone, and that's what worries me. Oh no! Yeah, I, I kind of know how that is. Um, my, my cousins, when they were younger, they were the same way, so... Is there anybody? No? No hidden items. Okay. My cousins were the same way when they were younger. Um, gosh, I remember... I think you're a trainer, so I'm going to avoid you. Is there anything hidden in your trash cans? No? Uh, whenever they would come over, they would uh, watch me play video games, and they were just like, Hey, grab this! Grab this! And they were just so energetic, and I was just like, oh gosh, how do I keep up with you? Um, let's see, is there anything around here? No, this guy's not doing too good. Hello. I'm gonna check up on him. Oh, you actually battle me. <laughs> Oops. I didn't think a seasick trainer would want to battle with me. But that's okay. Uh, that gives me an excuse to have uh, Delta battle more, so there's that at least. <laughs> and you can easily one-shot that Mr. Mime. Good job, Delta. Magmar. I could have Delta just go with the uh, waterfall, but I think Blue also needs to fight a little bit. Because Blue do didn't really get to do much fighting uh, against the Elite Four and Champion. 
Which, uh, is kind of sad. <gasps> no! Rude! How dare you burn me? Or rather, burn blue. Not me, but you know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what else do you have? Uh, Machoke. Bio! Go ahead and fight. Alright. Psybeam. Take it out, no problem. And down it goes. Heck yeah. I can't move anymore. Aw, uh, buddy, that's not good. Uh. No more ships for me. Next time I'm taking the magnet train. Yeah, unfortunately we cannot- that is not an option for us at the moment because the magnet train isn't working! Yay! I think that one's also a trainer over there. So I'm going to avoid him. Hello. Hey kid, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's taking it easy somewhere. That good for nothing. I want to go find him, but I'm on guard duty and have to stay right here. Okay. Uh, think I I think I know where he is. It's been a little bit since I've, uh, I think there was someone not in here. No, not here. I'm trying to remember where he is. No, there's, uh, was it this room? Yeah, there he is. What? You're saying I was asleep? Show some respect. A crewman on duty would never be so unmindful as to take a nap in a place like this. I resent your implication. I challenge you. Well, alright. I am... I guess he just didn't like the fact that I'm calling him out on his shenanigans. Alright. Losing to you has woken me up. I will mend my ways and work hard. Can you keep it a secret that I was taking a nap here? Please don't tell the captain. Uh-huh. No, I don't think I will. Well, I'm gonna go heal up real quick since, uh, blue is burned and, uh, a few other things. So, I will be right back. Alright, so going back to down to where we were. What does he have to say now? Hello. Thanks, kid. I yelled at him good so he'll quit slacking off. That's... Good, I guess. I'm not gonna challenge that trainer there. Uh, is it here? Yeah, here we go. This little girl keeps asking me to play with her. Ouch, don't stretch my ear. <laughs> Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Wow, are you gonna play with me? Let's play hide and seek. I'll hide, so close your eyes. And away she goes. Alrighty. So, I already know where she's hiding, so let's go find her. Or at least, I hope I remember where she is. There she is. Oh, you found me! I better go back to my grandpa. Yeah, you definitely should, you, uh... Probably scared the living daylights out of him. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing hide and seek with this guy. Gold, was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. Please take this. A metal coat, which does nothing for me. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Alright, we can get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. Let's go. Please let me out. <laughs> and there's a lone dude sitting over here. You came from Johto? 
I envy you. I hear many rare Pokemon live over there. Uh, sure. Let's put it at that. And here we are in Vermilion City. Finally in Kanto. Oh, hello. And away he goes. That was so close! I thought I could corner it by ambushing it here. But running on the water is beyond me. Still, I am starting to see a pattern. Suicune prefers water. Well, no, no duh, it's a water type. That means... Sorry, Gold, I've gotta go. Uh, bye. Well. Hi! Skill trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. Well, I would hope not, considering, you know, this is the end game. Alrighty, well. We have made it to Kanto after catching um, Raiko and Entei. And I think that should wrap things up for this part. Um, yeah, like I said, we've made it to, finally made it to Kanto. And we will uh, be making our way through the Kanto region. And seeing what Vermilion City has for us first, of course. Uh, with that, I will see you all in the next part. Goodbye for now.